My name is Ashley. I'm from Goldendale, Washington. And Ashley, how did you get invited to this church? And when you first came, what did you think? Back in 2010, Dan invited me, and I thought you guys were a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> the way you worshipped was nothing I've ever seen before. And there was something in the atmosphere that I didn't understand, which I do now, which was the Holy Spirit at the time. And can, Ashley, can you tell us a little bit what your life was like before you have given your love to Christ? My life before Christ was very sad. I was always crying. I didn't know how to deal with certain situations. Like family was very impossible to deal with. I just gave everything. I never understood like the receiving part of it. And can you tell us um, how your life began to change after you, you know, continued coming here and you give your life to Christ? What began to happen in your life? After coming more and more and giving my life to Christ, I didn't cry as much. I wasn't as sad. Uh, I started understanding family and how it's supposed to work, not just me giving everything. Okay, and we know that recently that you have um, made a decision to give your life to Christ and also to get baptized. Can you tell us a little bit what God began to deal, um, what is the issue that God began to deal in your life that you were facing at that moment? Uh, the main issue I had in my life was marriage and commitment. Uh, I was in a relation, or I've been in a relationship, and it was three and a half years at the time of coming and being here. And then when I got baptized just a few months ago, I decided that it's time to let go of the past and stop worrying about everyone else's divorces. And so, what stopped you, or um, why didn't you want to get married? Um, I saw a lot of divorce through family and friends, so it pretty much pushed me away. And then what happened after baptism? After baptism, me and the guy I've been with for almost five years are now married. And so um, today you are saved, you got baptized, um, God has broken off the fear of marriage and commitment and relationship. And so what is your advice today that you have for people? Don't give up. There's always hope. Um, stay committed. It's not going to be easy, but it will be fulfilled in the end. And what is your um, goals and dreams as a believer of Christ? I'm going to keep staying committed and hopefully open my own home group as soon as I take the classes, hoping to be done by November. <laughs> Amen. Amen.